So it's been a few months, but here I am back to teach you another great trick using Adobe Premiere Elements. A few months ago, I made a video using the June Smooth 4. And in that video, I showed you how to do a motion time lapse. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do that time lapse in post using Adobe Premiere Elements 2019. So if you wanna add a little extra to your time lapses, you can use the pan and zoom tool in Adobe Premiere Elements 2019 to add a little extra motion or to focus in on something important in your time lapse. You can do that using this tool in post. So let's head into the program and I'll show you how you can do this with your motion time lapses. So once you have your Adobe Premiere Elements software opened up, you want to head to the top left corner, click on File, New, Project. Once you have this window open, you can name your project. So I will name mine Time Lapse Pan. And then you can change the settings here. So you can see it's set to 1080i. 30, I'm going to change this. So click on change. I head to DSLR, 1080p, and then click a 24p timeline. Also, if you head down here, you can force selected project settings. So I always click on this box too, and the software does its best to blend it. Click OK. Now that you have your project set up, you want to add some media. So go to the top left corner, click on add media, files and folders. This is the one I want here, and click on open. So this little trick works with any type of time lapse that you've set up with your camera on a tripod, whether it be landscape, sunset, cityscape, or me cleaning out the bedroom in this case. So we're gonna drag this down to the timeline. I'm gonna click on this button here to make it fit our timeline a little bit nicer. And if I play this back, you'll see it's basically the camera's in the corner of the bedroom and I'm cleaning it out to get it ready for twins. So. I think I'm going to shorten it just a little bit. It's just a little bit too long here. So we're going to click on the clip and time stretch. We'll do 300. There we go. Click on render quickly here. And that's a little bit better, a little bit faster. Get the idea. Bedroom's getting cleaned out, but the camera is stationary in the corner. So we want to add a little bit of punch to this and we're going to add movement. So to do that, you head to the right hand side of the screen to the tools. Click on Tools, and then click on Pan and Zoom. So you can see here's your timeline. So we have this here. So that is frame one. We're going to make this frame a little bit smaller. And the reason we're doing this is to give us some space to actually pan. And then we have frame two, which is at the end of the clip here. We're actually gonna drag this frame over here and make it the same size as our original frame. So now we'll have movement across the room. So click on done, click on render, and let's see what our time lapse looks like now with a little movement. So as you can see, it adds a little bit more action to what's going on. You have that little bit extra movement and that can be easily created on any of the time lapses that you've made using the pan and zoom tool. So we we're just able to add some motion to our time lapse from the left to the right using pan. Now it's called the pan and zoom tool so you can also add zoom so you can focus in on something in the room as your time lapse is going on. So we're gonna click on add media, files and folders, Click on our bedroom time lapse. Throw that down on our timeline again. Click on this button here, make it a little bit bigger. So we are gonna shorten the clip up a little bit here. So we're gonna click on the clip again. Click on clip, time stretch, put that back to 300. Once that's set, head up to the top left-hand side, and click on your tools, click on pan and zoom. 
So as you can see, this is frame one and this is frame two. So frame two is a little bit smaller. So if we wanted to focus that in on a part of the room, we could easily kind of drag it over to here, maybe make it a little bit smaller. So the end of our clip is focused on Tigger. So once that's complete, we're gonna click done and click on render. And let's have a look at what that zoom effect does to our time lapse. So there you have it. Two simple ideas to create some motion to your time lapse, either by panning across or zooming in using the pan and zoom tool in Adobe Premiere Elements. Thanks for watching today. If you like this video, head down below, hit that like button. It actually makes a difference. And if you want to see more videos like this one, smash that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy out there. So if you don't have anybody filming with you, you actually have a selfie stick and you can use that on your Nikon camera to focus because you just put it up here like so and push down on the focus button.